Good evening, and welcome to the 2017 NAI Division I Women's Basketball National Championship Selection Show. Broadcasting from our studio inside the NAI headquarters in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Alan Grossbach. Over the course of the next few minutes, I'll present the 32 teams and bracket for the 37th edition of the Division I Women's Basketball National Championship. This year's event opens with eight games on Wednesday, March 15th, and these are played at Rimrock Auto Arena at Metro Park in Billings, Montana. And the event concludes Tuesday, March 21st with a championship final. Overall, there are 31 games played over the course of six days. First team to five wins is the champion. For those new to NAI basketball, there are two ways a team can make the championship field. A program can qualify as a conference regular season champion, tournament champion, or tournament runner-up depending on the league. Conferences with 10 or more schools receive two automatic berths, while leagues with less get one. The other method is by receiving that large berth. These spots are given to the highest rated teams that didn't already qualify as an automatic in the final edition of the NAI Division I Women's Basketball Coaches Top 25 poll. Also, let's not forget about our championship host, Rocky Mountain College. The Battle and Bears received an automatic berth as the host school. Now that we've explained how teams are chosen, let's get to it and announce the qualifying teams and bracket for the 2017 National Championship. We start things off by looking at the Naismith bracket and our number one overall seed, Freed Hardman University out of the American Midwest Conference. The Lions are the only unbeaten team in this year's championship field and they bring a 33-0 mark into the championship. They play the eighth seed and the host school, Rocky Mountain College, out of the Frontier Conference. They play Wednesday at 8 p.m. Moving down the Naismith bracket to the 4-5 matchup, we've got Our Lady of the Lake out of the Red River Athletic Conference. They play the Masters University. Wednesday at 9.45 p.m. The 3-6 matchup sees Campbellsville out of the Mid-South Conference playing Talladega, the lone representative out of the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference, Wednesday at 1.45 p.m. And then our final matchup in the Naismith bracket is the number two seed, Baker University, who's the Heart of America Athletic Conference regular season and tournament champion. They play the number seven seed, University of Mobile, Wednesday at 4 p.m. The Rams are the Southern States Athletic Conference Tournament Champion. Continuing down into the Kramer bracket, the number one seed in this section of the bracket is Lindsey Wilson College out of the Mid-South Conference. They're 30-2 on the season. They'll play the number eight seed, Martin Methodist College out of Tennessee, who brings a 21-10 mark into the event. That game is set for 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday, the early game. The 4-5 matchup in the Kramer bracket sees Biola University playing the number five seed Central Methodist at 10.15 a.m. on Wednesday. The 3-6 showdown is the three-seeded Columbia Cougars. They play the number six seed Montana Western at 5.45 p.m. on Wednesday. And the final matchup in the Kramer bracket is the number two seeded Oklahoma City University Stars, who's tw who are 29-2 on the season, playing the number seven seeded Mid-American Nazarene University Pioneers, the defending national champions, Wednesday at noon. Moving over to the Dewar bracket, the number one seed in the Dewar bracket is Lewis Clark State out of the Frontier Conference. They play the eight seeded William Penn Statesmen Thursday at 12.30 p.m. The 4-5 matchup in the Dewar bracket sees Wayland Baptist play Bethel University out of Tennessee Thursday at 10.45 a.m. Moving down the Dewar bracket is the number three seeded Lion College Scots. They play number six seed University of Pikeville, Thursday at 9 a.m. And our final contest out with the Dewar bracket features the number two seed, Westmont College, the Golden State Athletic Conference tournament champion. They face off against the number seven seed, LSU Shreveport, out of the Red River Athletic Conference, Thursday at 2.15 p.m. Our final section of the bracket is headlined by the number one seed, Shawnee State University, out of the Mid-South Conference. The Bears bring a 31-2 record into the event, and they'll play William Woods, out of the American Midwest Conference, Thursday at 4.30 p.m. The 4-5 game sees Benedictine, who was a Fab Four team last year, play number five seeded John Brown University, Thursday at 6.15 p.m. The 3-6 matchup is Frontier Conference team Montana State Northern, playing Loyola University out of, out of Louisiana, Thursday at 8 p.m. And our final matchup in the Liston bracket is Vanguard University out of the Golden State Athletic Conference playing the number seven seed Lindenwood University out of Belleville 
Thursday at 9.45 p.m. Let's take one last look at the entire field for this year's 2017 NAI Division I Women's Basketball National Championship presented by Wells Fargo. That puts a wrap on the show. On behalf of everyone at the NAI, I'd like to congratulate the schools, coaches, and players on a great season. For more information on the National Championship, visit the championship page on NAI.org. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at our at NAI underscore news account or on Instagram at our play NAI account. I'd also like to say a quick thank you to our producer director, Ephraim Duran. Thank you for watching. Thank you.